Better get started. <laughs> it's well before sunrise in the desert near Yuma, Arizona, and these researchers from the Arizona Game and Fish Department are on a mission. They're here to track down the flat-tailed horned lizard in its native habitat. So today it's kind of tough to find any tracks. We're not getting a lot of fresh tracks because there was a light rain last night. And um, as you can see in the sand, there's quite a few dimples in the sand. So it covered up all the tracks from last night. It's like finding a needle in a haystack, if the needle buried itself up to its neck in the dirt. The reason it's called a flat tail is because its tail is rather long, flat, and broad, uh, especially in comparison to uh, other horn lizards. Um, it, it's unique in that it, the uh, vertebral stripe, the stripe that goes down the back, is actually a dark brown, and uh, the uh, stripes that are on other horned lizards uh, in Arizona are actually light or tan or almost whitish in color. Uh, on the sides or the flanks of the lizard, there are actually two rows of, of uh, scales. Um, and uh, typical of, of horned lizards, they're round in body shape and, and rather flat compared to a lot of other lizards, which are that more torpedo shape. And he's got these really nice uh, long uh, protruding uh, spines or scales off the back of his head and uh, in uh, flat tails, they tend to be a little longer, a little sharper than other horned lizards. able to look at survivorship from year to year by marking these animals with what are called pit tags. These are passive integrative transponders which can be read with a handheld reader. That reader transmits a uh, low frequency radio signal that turns on the pit tag that is inserted inside the animal's abdomen and gives us a unique identification code so that we can recognize that that animal has been previously found and uh, its information recorded. We can tell where it was originally located and at what age it was at that time. 72. The data these researchers are collecting will track the health and population trends of these lizards, providing needed information to guide conservation strategies. For this particular study, the team is searching an area about three football fields in length and six football fields wide. Our approach uh, to collecting this information is to walk along these transects in a serpentine fashion, looking for lizards that are on the surface, uh, that are uh, available to us visually, and also looking for tracks. And in fact, the most effective uh, technique for finding these lizards is to find their tracks first and then to follow those tracks until we actually find the lizard. Living off of a diet of mostly harvester ants, the flat-tailed horned lizard has adapted to live within the desert scrub in this part of the state. With its flat lands, sparse vegetation, and a mostly hard-packed sandy soil. Unfortunately, the very things that attract the flat tail uh, are also attractive to um, urban development and the spread of agriculture. And historically, there has been a reduction in the amount of habitat available to the flat tail because uh, those interests have uh, been developing and spreading uh, in the same areas. The natural habitat for the flat-tailed horned lizard has been fragmented by roadway construction and the fence along the border with Mexico. Because their living area has been shrinking over time, there are concerns about population stability. There have been several petitions by conservation groups to add the lizard to the endangered species list, but an alternate approach employing intensive and sustained field work like this helps to create management strategies for the land and wildlife managers to ensure that the numbers of flat-tailed horned lizards can maintain a self-sustaining population. These small lizards have a variety of predators in the wild. Sidewinder rattlesnakes, fox, ground squirrels, loggerhead shrikes, kestrels, 
and the occasional hawk will even come through these parts and make a meal of the flat-tailed horned lizard. Their best defense is probably crypsis, or uh, their camouflage, and their ability to blend in with their surroundings and to maintain uh, a motionless stance so that they are not detected. Um, but that's also uh, an issue that gets them in trouble when their habitat is adjacent to where people are active. So if your strategy for survival is to be immobile and you're on the shoulder of a roadway or in the middle of a road and you are remaining still when a car comes by, it's, it's, the result is not going to be good. One example of how area agencies work together to protect the flat-tailed horned lizard can be seen along State Route 195, where special barrier fences were put up to prevent the flat-tailed horned lizard from entering the roadway. This type of population monitoring, done by the Contracts Branch of the Arizona Game and Fish Department, supports the goal of managing today for wildlife tomorrow. The Arizona Game and Fish Department involved in the management of a wide diversity of species. And the flat-tailed horned lizard is one of those unique species that comprises the overall set of animals that occur within the state. And it is our mission to understand the biology, the natural history of all these different animals and to uh, make sure that we provide uh, the conservation strategies and the management actions that will ensure that these animals occur for future generations.